everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Tuesday. This is just a brief word, a brief message that God, the Holy Spirit, has given me. Alright, I don't have my glasses today. But good morning, America. Good morning, Caribbean. Right, I hope you all having a blessed, wonderful day. Right, and we are coming into the new year in 2021 and I'm so excited and excited that God is working God is doing things in your life right close doors we have we had to learn some things through him right because the lessons that God and the things that God is preparing for you is the word the wait okay so let us put Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day, Father. We thank you for every single thing, Father, you give us. I pray in the name of Jesus all around the world, people who are listening to me, Father, Lord, will know, Father, Lord, Jesus, that you have a plan, you have a strategy for their lives. And, Father, Lord, whoever is wearing well-doing, Father, Lord, shall wait, Father, Lord, upon you, Father, Lord, and not only lean on their own understanding, but acknowledge you and you will direct their path. So I'm about to bring your word, Father, Lord, I pray, Father, Lord, this powerful word, Father, Lord, will impact their lives, Father, Lord, and it will be go beyond 2021, Father, Lord, because you are doing something new in their lives today. So I'm about to bring everything in care, allow the Holy Spirit to lead and direct the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord, amen. So I hope you're all having a blessed day, right? But this word is very frequently today, and I know that it was sung harsh or whatever but the holy spirit let me know this morning that it have millions and millions of people all around the world in, in different countries different states are wearing well doing god said do not be wearing well doing but in all things learn to pray right god is working on that situation god is working on that project for you right god is doing things behind the scenes that no man does not understand right get up and know that jesus is doing something wonderful right in 2021 i'll be coming back on here right new year's day or old years i'll be given the word because god said new year right the new year coming up is going to be prolific and significant right god was preparing us 2020, 2029, right, sorry, not 2020, 2019, 2018, 2017, and further, that God, that was a preparation, a preparation for acceleration, for kingdom spouses, right, it's all about marriages in 2021, right, starting from now, straight and beyond, God is preparing your, your spouse for you, God is preparing things for you behind the scenes, but wait, Wait and hold on. Never give up. Right? Never give up on your circumstances. God is going to move the debris from your life and prepare new things. So prepare the new beginnings. Prepare every single thing that you pray for for all these years. You will see it come into fashion in your life. Okay? Manifestation is very important. But in order for you to be getting all these blessings and things you have to clean up yourself you have to clean up your life you have to make room for the new things that is coming about your family about your dynamic right you cannot go into 2021 having the same old issues or the same old problems you have to clean up what is now due because it have some christians right God is telling me right now, some Christians are rebellious and they're not listening to what God is saying to them. They want to do what they want. No, it's not going to work like that. You have to listen to what God is saying because God has things for you. God has places for you to go. God has people for you to meet and, and new people in your life. Not the same old and the same old. Allow the old to go and bring in the new. Right? According to Isaiah 43, 19. Okay? So that was a word for multitudes of people in America and Caribbean, all around the world, including myself too. 
right? And including Rifika too. So I, I want to just give a shout out to that young man of God. I'll be doing a review, right? So look out for that review by either Wednesday or Thursday. That will be talking about highlights, about the man, about the man named Rifika because God is using him in this season. Right, God is using me and him in this season to bring forth kingdom purposes. God has a plan and a purpose for your life. We, we might not understand it, but God knows what he's doing. Allow Jesus Christ to fulfill your purpose by his, by his word. God's promises are sure and true, okay? But I want to just read something, right? I want to just read something, right? It's a beautiful day. Every day is a beautiful day, and you need to take it one step at a time, okay? So, I'm looking wonderful today. So, I just want to read Psalms chapter... Psalms chapter 89, verse 51. Where thine enemies have reproached, O Lord, where they have reproached the footsteps of thy anointed, blessed be the Lord forevermore. Remember, Lord, the reproach of thy servants, how I do bear. So God is saying, do not worry about your enemies. God is going to take care of your enemies. All you have to do is to focus on him. Focus on him. Do not seek nowhere else, but seek Jesus daily, all the time, okay? So I hope this short, brief word was a blessing to you. And know that Jesus wants to do things in your life. He wants to make you happy. He wants to make your family happy. He wants to make your children happy. He does not want you to go astray. But in order for you, to change that dynamic, to change the all you, you have to repent of your sins, pray, intercede with him, and allow him to work in your life. God has closed doors that no man can shut. God will close and open doors in the Pacific time. Always wait on God's time. This week, you will hear praise reports. This week, you're going to hear plenty things change around for people in different ways. Right? Not everybody will have the same assignment. But God said he will change around the life. He will resurrect things. He's going to resurrect and restore things in your life. Right? That the enemy has been lying there for all these years. Right? Learn to wait. Learn to have patience. Learn to be humble. Learn to have compassion for your brother. And not despise your brother. Because too many times Christian people just get caught up in this world. The Bible talk about being not unequally yoked with unbelievers. So we have to ought to praise the Lord. We ought to stay away from trouble, stay away from evil, and do good, right? Do good in our lives, right? Because God is counting on us. God is watching over us. Every single day of our lives, we have to thank the Lord, we have to praise him, we have to worship him. We have to understand that Jesus Christ is the only way to salvation, is the only way to eternal life, right? It's not no bystanding, it's not no, it's not no guess, right? We ought to be serious in the body of Christ. We ought to not be skylarking in the body of Christ. We ought to not let distractions overtake us or control us, or manipulate us, right? We ought to not let fear and doubt creep in us, right? We must not have the spirit of fear, but the power and the love and the song mind what God given us, to us and in birth, in our mother's womb, right? So I hope this will encourage you all to read your Bible, to pray, to worship Jesus because Jesus is every single thing. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord. Right? Purify yourselves by eating healthy foods. Purify yourselves by drinking water, by going out more often. Right? 
despite what the corona, whatever it is, right? Take your time to love yourself more, to self-love, to self-care, to self-control, and also to love God and to seek him, right? Do not be looking like a vagabond, right? Look like a Christian woman of God, a godly man and a godly woman of God, okay? Because without Jesus in our lives, we will not be here. So we have to always thank the Lord for small mercies and for big mercies, right? And for favor and grace in our lives. And 2021 will be a prolific year. It will be a dynamic year. It will be a marriage year, right? It will, God is rearranging spouses. God is doing things behind the scenes that we don't know about. But you always have to thank the Lord for closed doors. Sometimes God will close doors, right? That you, that you don't know what they say or what she say or what, what whatever say, right? God knows, God hears, God sees things behind the scenes. God does see beyond things that we cannot comprehend. But in time, and God will expose, God is exposing things in our midst. He's doing things in our midst, right? So we all have to um, humble ourselves as Christian people. And draw closer to her, to him, right? I will give a little testimony, right? There was a time in my life when I was a young girl, right? At the age of 18 years, right? I didn't know better, right? I went with bad company friends. People influenced me to do all type of wrong things. I was really, the enemy really had me that time. But when I baptize in the Lord fully and get to know that Jesus Christ, because I, I, I heard about Jesus Christ through a friend. I heard about Jesus Christ through my grandparents because my, grand, my grandparents brought me up as a little babe in the church, right? But in time past, you know, we all slip and we all fall, we all go the wrong way, we all not perfect. Because sin caused all of these things unto man, okay? But I wasn't, I've come like I was a rebellious child or whatever. But God delivered me out of that, right? And I am so thankful, right, and grateful that Jesus Christ delivered me and healed me out of all these things, right? Sometimes you want to go and you want to play with your friends, you want to go in the casino, you want to do all these things. But it's not worth it, Right? You have to change that dynamic about your life. You cannot be living, you cannot be saying you're a Christian and going back in your old ways. Because the Bible talks about all of these things will come to pass, right? But you need to confess your sins. You need to go down on your knees daily and sincerely and say, Lord, I repent of my sins. I don't want to go nowhere. I want to change around my life. I want, I want to be a different individual. I don't want to go with no friends and no bad company and thing. I want to just change. God will hear and answer a prayer. Because I've seen plenty people, right? Plenty people in this world, in America and Caribbean, will be changing the life through of this video, through of the, because the Holy Spirit is talking through me, right? And my videos are very accurate and true, right? I want people to be happy. I don't want people to be sad and down and out. I want you all to know that Jesus is the only answer for your life. Jesus is the only way for salvation and eternal life. So accept him as Lord and Savior now before it's too late. And you will see plenty of things happening in your life that you never really thought. You, could Im you, you never Im imagined to go in through that door. Right? Because people, right, don't listen to what the media say. Do not listen to what the outsiders say or the naysayers or the people who want to bring it on say. Right? Listen to what God is saying. Peace be still all the time. Okay? So I hope this was a blessing, but let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this nice, short, sweet 
prophetic word video. I pray for our Lord, it will uplift the minds and hearts and change around the minds and hearts of people, Father Lord. Father Lord, yes, people are going through all type of sickness, all type of pain, Father Lord. But Father Lord, you know their situation, you know their circumstance, you know what's going on, Father Lord. Let's relieve and heal people, Father Lord, all across the border in America and Caribbean, Father Lord. You know their situation, you know what's going on with them, you know the issues of men. You know the, what men thinking from what what not they thinking, and you know what women thinking from what not they thinking. But Father Lord, you just change that dynamic, Father Lord, in the life. Father Lord, all these years, people on addiction, people on stress, people on all kind of different things, Father Lord. But Father Lord, you heal them, Father Lord. I command and renounce every ungodly ties, Father Lord, ungodly soul ties, Father Lord. Break a, any ungodly soul ties, Father Lord, and re, and all the people who are married, Father Lord, and all the people who are engaged, Father Lord, and all the people are set, Father Lord, for the kingdom, that, Father Lord, the kingdom is very real, Father Lord, the kingdom spouses, Father Lord, will turn, Father Lord, and they will know, Father Lord, give them the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding, Father Lord, and about to leave, Father Lord, I pray, Father Lord, that this will just saturate the atmosphere, Father Lord, in the atmosphere, that, Father Lord, you can raise up a volume, Father Lord, of praise and worship and thanksgiving. So, Father Lord, about to leave in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, allow the Holy Spirit, allow the angels to encamp around their homes, Father Father Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Father Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah to Jesus, Father Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this word, Father Lord. This word will be a blessing from 2021 beyond, Father Lord. Acceleration, elevation, Father Lord. Kingdom spouses will be raising up, Father Lord. Prodigal sons will be coming home, Father Lord. Open doors, new open opportunities will be coming, Father Lord, to your people, Father Lord. And, Father Lord, they will be humbling, Father Lord, and praising you and magnifying your holy name, Father Lord. And whatever, whoever is sick will not be left behind, Father Lord. They will be healed, Father Lord. Just as how the woman with the issue with blood, Father Lord. And, Father Lord, all burden shall be going Father Lord right now. All sickness shall be going in the name of Jesus Father Lord. By the blood of the Holy Ghost in, in the name of Jesus. Amen. So that is the power of the Holy Ghost. And when you have the power of the Holy Ghost, when you have the Holy Spirit in you, you are a changed individual in the body of Christ. Okay? So set not your affections not on things on the earth but things, things above according to second Colossians 3, verse 1. Okay? So, that was it for today. Right? The prophetic word is get ready, stay ready, and be prepared. Right? Get ready, stay ready, and always be prepared. Because it doesn't know God could open doors early. God could go open doors anytime, right? So God opening doors is G-O-D. God opening doors, okay? So that is the heading for today, right? Release, right? To, to stress to be blessed, right? Release all its distress and know that you are blessed, right? Release, let go, say bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye all you. And bring in the new. Okay? Because God is doing that in 2021. 2021 is a prolific year. It's a year for marriages. Year for kingdom marriages. It will have plenty of people will be married in the body of Christ. Right? So be prepared. Be prepared to meet your spouse. Be prepared to meet your groom. Be prepared to meet your bride. Right? Because God is opening up doors that no man can shut in your life. Okay? So... Love you always, love you and I will see you all, all years, right? All years, night, not night, but in day, sorry. All years, day, right? I will see you all, I will be having another word with the Holy Spirit. Unction me to give a word, I will come on here and give specific words for people, right? So love you always, the love of Jesus, right? And I will see you all. I want to shout out again to that man, Rifika. I'll be doing a review, right, Wednesday or Thursday. That is, right, Thursday. I'll be doing a review on that man because I love that man's videos. I'll be watching videos. If he upload anything, I always support that man. And I need you to support that man too. Because that man going through all hell, back and front and center. But God is going to deliver him out of all of this generational curse because i'm see as father lord jesus i pray for Re 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 father lord 
Thank you, Lord Jesus, for that man, Father Lord. I pray, Father Lord Jesus, that you just open the doors, open financial breakthroughs for that man, Father Lord. I pray, Father, I really love that man, Father Lord. And Father Lord, you just, all that love, Father Lord, he's given other people, Father Lord, that he will turn, Father Lord, and give it to me, Father Lord. Because, Father Lord Jesus, you said in your word, you know that God is love, Father Lord. But, Father Lord, without love in our lives, without God love, we are nothing, Father Lord. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, that that young man, Father Lord, could have love for everyone, could support, could even motivate people's lives, Father Lord. I pray, Father Lord, that his channel will grow, Father Lord. I pray his channel will grow in the body of Christ and not grow in other areas and other places that Father Lord, he will draw people to the Lord, Father Lord. That is how I'm drawing people to the Lord on my videos, Father Lord. Father Lord, you will we will be just like by kingdom couples, Father Lord, because Father Lord, you are the one in control, Father Lord. And I pray, Father Lord, that all the people who are married, Father Lord, and have issues and marital problems in their life, Father Lord, you solve them for me because you are the solver. You are the deliverer. You are the healer. You are the redeemer. You are the friend. You are every single thing until the very end. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, for Father Lord, every single thing. I pray, Father Lord, that other couples, Father Lord, will follow Father Lord and they will understand, Father Lord, that it's not only by looks, Father Lord, it's by heart, Father Lord, it's by spiritual things for the lord in their life but for the lord you just cover them by the blood of jesus for the lord whatever situations they are going to whatever the couples and whatever things that people don't understand about relationships for the lord that they will understand it a spiritual way not a physical way for the lord and about as about as you about to unite for the lord people and set them for the lord on marriage and pulpits, Father Lord, I pray, Father Lord, you as they will have a good life, Father Lord, that will live a life holy and acceptable to you and not on their own, Father Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord, amen. So this is coming to the end of the video. It was very short and sweet today, but I'm looking wonderful, wonderful today. I'm so, so happy. I want to sing a song before I go. I'm happy today, so happy today in Jesus Christ. I'm happy today. He tell up a my I'm take to the sky. What others us bless. I'm tell of the best. Do not be stressed because you are blessed. In Jesus Christ, you are blessed. In Jesus Christ, you are blessed. Do not be stressed. Never care less, because Jesus is your best. He will give you the best, and he will take care of the rest, because you are blessed and highly favored by the Most High God. Okay? So, this is coming to the end of the video, right? Love you all with the love of Jesus. I'm praying for you all, all the time. And... Jesus is doing something new in your life. Forget about the old and bring in the new. Okay? So love you all. Bye.